Hi, this is Neil from UseMyFrame.com, and continuing on in our Mastering the Marco 101 Lens Meter. Uh, today, we're going to get into prism, uh, specifically how to spot prescribed prism. So there are two types of prism. There is prescribed prism, and then there is the bad prism, which is unwanted prism. Prescribed prism is when it's written down by the eye doctor of how much prism they want set before the patient's eye. Unwanted prism is, uh, and this could be on a lens with prescribed prism or without, uh, it's when it doesn't match what is written, right, or what is prescribed. So today we're going to be talking about and focusing on prescribed prism. So if the doctor prescribes for the right eye one diopter of base up prism, how is that going to look? That's what we're going to look at today. I know usually I do everything from the lens meter, um, but today I thought it might be a little easier to do a digital whiteboard uh, so it, it's number one, it's really hard getting the camera to focus in the lens meter. Um, and I think uh, this will just kind of give me a little, make it a little easier for both of us. So let's begin. So when we look in our lens meter, this is what we're going to see. We're going to see the reticle with some concentric rings. And there's going to be some numbers, some guidelines. I stripped it down to basically the most important. I know you'll see numbers on the top usually, um, and we'll get into those at another time. But today I want to get our foot in the door with PRISM and give you enough to where you'll be able to comfortably start spotting PRISM by the end of this video. That's the goal, okay? So we got some work to do. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I think uh, over the years, as, have I, as I have explained this to many people, um, there's been some things that I have learned that help make it a lot easier. So I'm going to share those things with you today. So starting with these circles, um, let me grab my other pencil. And I am kind of learning how to use this thing, so I'm not the best at it. I might make some mistakes. So uh, these numbers, 3, 2, 1, it's letting you know how much prism is at that point on these rings. So you got uh, on this ring, it's one diopter prism, two diopters of prism, three diopters of prism, right? Well, what about this small ring? What about this ring? You know what that one is? That's actually half a diopter of prism. So from the rings, it goes half diopter, one diopter, two diopter, three diopter, and then there's some hash marks for four, five, and so on, which we'll get to those later. Today, we're just going to focus on what we can see. So now let's see our eye doctor writes a prescription for the right eye and it's he asks for one diopter of base up prism here is our target right and these three skinny lines are our sphere sphere lines and these three fat lines are our cylinder lines, okay? This assumes that we have no lens in our lens meter when we're doing this. Because um, remember, even though I'm doing this on an iPad, I, I want you to picture this as if you're in front of your own lens meter. And that could be a Marco 101 or any of the others. They're all going to be have the same principles. <laughs> all right, so the most important point on this target and when I say target I'm referring to this as a whole as it is used um, 
to spot lenses, the most important point is where the three sphere lines meet and the three cylinder lines meet. The very middle point. If I draw a circle, that would be it, right? So that's the point where we want to set on our reticle uh, to determine the amount of prism that we're going to, okay? So if we just say a zero in how we would normally spot a lens, well, this is what that's going to look like. It's going to look like this. Right in the middle, give or take a pixel or two. Right? It's it's aligned both horizontally and vertically, right in the center of our reticle, right? Our target is right in the center. And it's that very middle point that we use to set this. Okay? Usually when we spot lenses, we're spotting it right here. Right? And that's how most of the time we're going to do. But with prescribed prism, it's different because the doctor here is saying, in this case, he wants one diopter of base up. Now, uh, vertical prism is a lot easier to understand than horizontal prism because up is always up, down is always down, but in prism depends on whether it's a right lens or a left lens. So in this case, if it's one diopter up, we would spot this lens when we have our target aligned right here. Make sense? Pretty simple, right? So that would be one diopter base up, whether this was a right lens or a left lens. This would be two diopters base up, three diopters base up, one diopter base down, two diopters base down, three diopters base down. Simple, right? Now, uh, I'm going to, I want you to think, look at this, look at your screen and say, where, is, where would I align the target to be two diopters base down? Where would that be? Hold your finger there or put it in your mind's eye. And if you got, if you said it was right here, you would be right. Okay? Pretty simple. And like I said, that's going to be the same whether it's the right eye or the left. Same thing. Now, let's do horizontal. Horizontal prism is always the trickiest to learn. And one teaching tool I have found that works incredibly well, uh, and I still myself use it this, to this day when I spot, is to picture, uh, picture a pair of glasses facing you as you spot the lens. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a lens over the top of our reticle, and I'm actually using a one of the old school patterns to do so because my artwork ain't all that great. So I'm going to do this. All right. This is our right. So this is our nasal side. And this is our right lens, right? So just like if you were inspecting a pair of glasses, you know, uh, you're in most cases, you're going to have the glasses facing you as if someone is wearing them, right? So that's how this would be. So if this was a pair of glasses, here would be the bridge, and then the other side down here, right? Yes, yes, I, I told you my arm <laughs> was terrible. So this is our right lens. Now we want to, when it comes to base in and base out, all we have to think of is base in, base in is toward the nasal, base out is toward the temple. And as long as we have this as our guide, 
you know, as we're picturing spotting this, and we have this centered over our target, right, over our reticle for what we're spotting, we can never get it wrong, and it makes it so easy. So now, one day after base in, well, we know that it's going to be one day after base in. We it would either be here one day after, or here one day after, right? Well, all we have to do is look at our eyeglasses and see that base in is over to the right for this um for this lens now if this was a left lens our base in would be over here because our nave our nasal would be pointing toward the left right so it may sound a little tricky it takes a you know a, a time or two to a, a moment to process but if you picture which direction you know is that lens sitting above you you'll always be able to know which way is base in which way is base out so this is centered right now say we want one diopter base out for a right lens now you always when you specify base in and base out you always have to specify whether it's a right eye or a left a you know and which you should always do for every lens but if it's a um if it's a vertical prism base up well that could be for either but a horizontal prism base in you can only know it's base in by what eye you're referring to okay so if we say we want one diopter of base out we know that our target should be on this side right here if it should be two diopters base in it should be over here right give or take a couple pixels if it should be one diopter base up where would it be right here if it was one diopter base down one diopter base out now i hope you're seeing how incredibly simple this is let me move this back down let me grab our eraser and now i'm going to put our left lens up here and we're going to see how this works with the left okay put our little pattern there And you could do this with a pair of glasses. You could put a pattern over over your lens meter. You could whatever helps you remember that now this is your left. This is your nasal side. So now if we want to bring up our target and we want to go to we want to go to, say, one diopter base in for this left lens. Where would we go? Where would we put it? Did you say over here? No, of course you didn't. You got it, right? You knew right away this is in for the left side. It's toward the left. And that's where it goes. Now, if you read the books, they will talk about if it's a plus lens, you move the lens in one direction if it's a minus lens you move the lens in the opposite direction with this system you will not have to worry about any of that all you have to do is remember a, uh, the the picture of the glasses how they look which side is the left which side is the nasal which side is the temple and you will always get it right pretty cool right so if we got a Two diopters base out for this left eye. Where's it going to be? It's going to be right there. Super, super simple. I hope this 
really helps you. Now, I want to give you one bonus uh, lesson here, and that's compound prism. So compound prism is when there is prism in both directions. Okay, so we have, we're going to say uh, this is one diopter, the adopter, oh, let me erase that, it's kind of sloppy. One diopter of base up prism, as well as one diopter base in, right? That's what that's the prescribed prism that the doctor requested. So of course we have to, you know, check our sphere power, check our cylinder, align our axis, everything. Um, the way the target I have it situated would obviously be as if the axis is set at zero. So. Let's grab a hold of this, and let's bring it up here. We want one up. That's where it would be for one up, and one in. Which way do we go, this way or this way? We go to the left, of course, because in is toward our nasal, toward up here. So it makes it easy. Now, here is the biggest mistake that people make. The most common is they think that they have to stick to this, um, to these rings, like this would be one up, one in, but that's actually incorrect. What you would do, it be, and you know it's incorrect if you really think about it, because look at where our vertical prism is. We're not really at a full one diopter base up, are we? No, because that would be up here, right? Ah, that's the key to it. So that's our up. Now we bring our in. We line up that middle sphere line. So now we have one diopter base up, one diopter base in. This is how that would look like. And you could use your sphere lines and your cylinder lines, the middle lines, as guides to help you align it perfectly. Right? And Say the axis is at a 45 or, you know, 87, whatever it is, it's not perfectly straight up and down like in this case, which makes it a lot easier. You can line your lens up, get it to where it should be, and then rotate your axis to zero. And as long as the power isn't too strong, you can still somewhat see the sphere and cylinder lines, and that can help you as a guide to line it up like this. And then just make sure to set it back. Make sure you got you didn't accidentally shift your axis, spot your lens. You're good to go. All right. Let's do one more. We're going to say we want um, get rid of these. We want let's say two diopters face down and three diopters base out all right try to get ahead of me where do you think that needs to be all right so first thing we need to do is find our base down so this would be zero this would be one base down, two base down. This would be one out, two out, and three out. Make sense? It's a lot different from where you might think it would be, but that's why you got to use those lines as a guide. And when you do so, and you use the picture of the glasses above, you'll never get it wrong. Thank you for watching. Hope this helped. Any questions or things I didn't answer, leave your comments and or leave your questions in the comments below and I'll definitely get back to you. Thanks again for watching.